We're just 15 days away from the start of the Waterfront Blues Festival, and although he's played in Portland before, this will be Carl Buffalo Nichols' first time playing at Blues Fest. He was born in Houston, Texas, and the blues guitarist and songwriter, originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, played back up for years before branching out as a solo artist. He's played gigs in Africa and also parts of Europe. Now he's coming to Portland with his own band that's bringing the blues of the past into the future. You know a pretty girl will make you do ugly things. What do you think about uh, playing music festivals again, outdoor festivals and especially big festivals? Well, I'm really excited to be playing festivals because, you know, newer artists like me have been, you know, sitting out for the last two years waiting for our moment. So this is the first time a lot of uh, acts who have been working working towards it for the last three or maybe even four years are going to get the chance to to play the big outdoor festivals so i'm excited about that what uh have you picked up when you played portland about the the vibe and and the audience appreciation here for for good music well the first time i played portland i didn't have any expectations really but i was surprised that the at least for my show there was a great listening audience and even though I was like a solo act opening for a rock band, you know, the people got there early and, and they paid attention. You're going to be part of, of the Waterfront Blues Festival the way that we have known it over the years. And, and hopefully it'll come back to what it was before. Yeah, it really means a lot to me. And one thing I've noticed is, especially when it comes to the younger crowds, there are some like teenage kids, for example, who have never really been to a festival because, you know, they came when they're coming of age, everything was canceled. So they're seeing this kind of event for the first time. And it's really special to be a part of that. The way you hurt me so me. How would you describe your musical uh, chops? How would you describe the music you play and, and, and what you plan to bring us here in Portland uh, during the festival? This is going to be my first uh, summer playing with a band. I've been playing solo for the past uh, two years. So I think it's going to be uh, interesting, let's put it that way. It's going to be new for everybody. How do you describe your musical style? It's it's in the, the universe of the blues. Um, it can, it's go, and it ranges from traditional to totally experimental. So it's a, it's a blues, put people on a blues journey. What do you know about Portland, Oregon, if anything? Um, yeah, I spent a little bit of time there out, outside of music. And, uh, you know, I know it's got different scenes and known for being an art town, you know. Uh, do you look forward to checking out performances from other artists and having other artists uh, be exposed to your music as well? How does that dynamic work for you at, at big festivals like this? Yeah, I always make a point to see as many artists as I can. You know, for an artist like me, I'm usually playing first, so nobody's there to see me, but you know, I'm, I usually stick around and try to catch all the sets. Yeah, it's definitely an honor. And to me, it just makes for a better experience because the audience um, doesn't have to sit to the same type of music the whole night. They get to get a little, you know, every hour it's something totally different. So I think that just makes for, for a great festival. Thank you so much, Carl Buffalo Nichols. And uh, hey, we'll try to give you a good Portland welcome when you come out here. Yeah, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Loyalty is just a word and his lips are we hold. Well, as you can tell, I really enjoyed talking to Buffalo Nichols. Yeah. You can catch him on stage Monday, July 4th. It's the last day of the festival. And we are capping it all off with a fireworks show over the Willamette River. The fireworks are back. The Blues Festival on the waterfront is back. Uh, this is great stuff. It is great stuff. I loved what he said about how he described his music, too, ranging from traditional to experimental. So, like, you're going to get, I mean, he, I know he was also talking hour by hour. You know, you get a new set and different, different acts and different yeah. types of music. But within his own set, you're going to get different types of music. Absolutely. Which should be really, really pretty cool. Yeah. First time playing with his own band instead of being solo. It, it, it's going to be an experience for him and for us. That'll be so much fun. And you can go to coin.com right now to check out the lineup and get your tickets. Again, we're only 15 days away until the Blues Fest kicks off. Can't believe it's only 15 days away. I feel like time is flying. Time is flying. It'll be here before we know it. Yeah, absolutely. All right.